morning everybody. Okay, it's time for the draw and I have to say I'm really uh, giddy as a kipper this morning and quite excited. I'd like to say um, that I didn't sleep at all last night through excitement, but that wouldn't be the case. Head hit the pillow and I was out like a light, but I am very excited for all of you this morning. So these are the prizes, as you know, we have um, a journal um, by Alison Hutchins and my rack um, or one of my racks was to buy five of these little journals from Alison so I'm including one of them as the first prize. The second prize is a folio that I made and it's full of goodies. There's a little book um, booklet in the back um, and there's some tags, homemade tags. I'm not going to open it up because there is a whole video of um, what I called fabulous folos, folios where I made these. So you can see them, um, what's inside on that video. And the other one was one of these um, vintage lace envelopes that I made. And as you can see, it's got the Tim Holtz slotted die on the back with a few little bits of ephemera. Uh, so that is the, the third prize. And then the fourth prize, um, the very lovely Tracy Fox, thank you so much Tracy, um, has offered um, the fourth winner two digi kits out of her Etsy shop. So those are the prizes and I'm just gonna pop them to one side. Here's my trusty fruit bowl um, and I'll be glad to have that back so I can have some fruit salad again. <laughs> um, I have a few more entries here so I'm just very very quickly going to put the bowl just slightly to one side and go through these. So Deborah Brown you're in. Deborah emailed me very late last night and I was teasing her and saying she just got in under the wire. Um, Pam Vanee I uh, hope I've pronounced that correct, Pam. So, Pam's in. Paula Shinto. I'm taking a little bit more time folding these because when I finished putting the other ones in um, previously, when I actually looked at the bowl, because I just folded them and not creased them hard, um, they were opening up and I could actually see um, some of the names inside or enough of the names to be able to work out who's who. So that's why I'm making sure that I'm giving them a good crease this time. So Rosie Morse, and there you go, Rosie. Thank you for such a lovely, lovely email, Rosie. Um, and Trina Hoax. Trying to be quick because really you don't want to see me doing this all day. Wendy Fishbash, Fishback. Sorry, Wendy. Back. Not sure how to pronounce that, Wendy. Sorry. Um, Ada Danvers, thank you for your lovely email, Ada. Really appreciate that. Penny Kaffir. Laurie Thiel. Oh, I can't pronounce that. Sorry. I am so rubbish at pronouncing names. I really am. I'm no good at languages either. I'm definitely not. And Maud Arthur. Again, Maud, thank you very much for your lovely, lovely email. And I hope you feel better soon. There we go, girls. <clears throat> so here's our friendship pot. Um, our friendship cake, as I said. And I am going to give it a good stir because the other thing I found was that sometimes they get um, caught inside each other. You wouldn't believe there's over 60 entries in here, would you? Um, but there are. Thank you to everybody that has taken part. I really, really do appreciate your kindness and your generosity. And um, as I said before, for really embracing the spirit of, of what I wanted to, to do. Um, honestly, some of you have gone well over um, above and beyond um, and my heart has just burst um, when I've, I've seen your kindness and your generosity. Thank you also so much for all your lovely messages telling me what you've been sending out, why you've been sending them out and thank you too from the recipients um, thanking me. Um, I have had an absolute ball doing all of this um, so you have made um, my day or my my weeks <laughs> okay so are you ready girls let's go in 
so the first prize goes to Laurie. There you go, Laurie. That'll teach me. Let me find you on camera. That'll teach me not to be able to pronounce your name, won't it? There you go. So the first prize goes to you, Laurie, and you have Alison's journal. So thank you so much, Laurie. Okay, here we go again, girls. And I'm quite happy to say girls because I didn't have a single male entry, so um, let's get this one. And this one goes to, oh, to Ada Danvers. Ada, that's lovely. Um, thank you, as I say, for your lovely, lovely email. And you get the um, folio, Ada. So thank you so much. And we're going in again. And this is for the third prize, which is for this um, envelope that I did. Giving it a good old stir. I'm just building up the tension. You know what I'm like. Real drama queen. Okay, and this is going to Maud Arthur. Now, Maud was was really, really generous. And Maud said to me that if her name got picked out, she was more than happy to do the racks. She didn't want to be included in receiving a prize. Um, and I did try and persuade her, and I know one or two of you were like that. Um, was it my shitty prizes, by the way? <laughs> Sorry, bad language there. Um, I did try try to persuade those of you that actually said that, but Maud was insistent that she wanted, um, if her name came out, she wanted it redrawn. So, Maud, that is so lovely of you, and um, I will be sending you some little happy mail just to say thank you. Um, this is really kind of you. So I'm going in again. And this time this one's going to Carla Mayfield. There you go, Carla. Congratulations. That envelope is yours. And this one is for the Digi Kit. And this one, oh, Jackie, there you go, Jackie. Jackie, um, I will send your name to Tracy Fox to let her know that you are the winner of the two digi kits um, of your choice from her shop. Um, and can you contact her as well? So um, if you would like to do that, um, that would be awesome. So thank you so much, um, all of you. You have been absolutely amazing. Um, I most definitely will do this again for my next giveaway um, because, well, basically I've enjoyed myself so, so much. So, um, but I will narrow it down a little bit um, more for the next one and say that it has to be either a stash bust um, that you give as your rack or an actual make um, and it can't go to family members it's got to go to a member of our crafting community um, there are reasons for that and I will explain it um, when I come to do the next uh, the next giveaway but um, what I'm doing at the moment I've enjoyed this so much over the last couple of um, weeks that as I've been making bits and bobs and as I've been playing in my stash if I've seen anything I've put it to one side in what I now call my rack box, um, ready for the next um, the next giveaway, um, which hopefully won't be too long in coming. So um, go on, girls, get out there, do exactly the same thing. Next time you make a tag, um, pop one, do an extra one and pop it to one side ready to, to send out. I was making some um, specimen tags the other day um, as you probably will have seen on my Instagram and um, I've popped one of those uh, in my rack box and it's no effort just to make an extra one ready to send out to somebody and it, it can be something as simple as, as that that makes somebody's day and makes them happy, makes them smile. So once again everybody, thank you so so much. These, um, If you email me please, um, Carla, um, Ada and uh, Laurie if you email me with your addresses, as soon as I have that, I will make sure that these go out in the post to you the following day. Um, COVID restrictions have released 
um, eased up here in the UK and um, I will nip down to my local post office and get these posted out to you. So as soon as you let me have your addresses, these will be on their way to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, everybody. You have been completely and utterly awesome. And really, if I could have given a prize to each and every single one of you, um, I really would have done. Thanks, everybody. Take care and bye-bye.